realistic expectations of yourself. And um, I, I was a numbers guy before. I always wanted to shoot a certain percentage or average a certain amount of points. But now coming back after two tough injuries, uh, I kind of scratched that. I just have a you know open canvas of what's going to happen. It could be, I just want to be efficient. I don't care what my numbers are as long as I am shooting and playing efficiently. And I know with time, whether it's toward the end of this year, come playoff time or next year, I know my numbers will, will be great again. Um, just two years of not playing in an NBA game, you got to taper down the big expectations of scoring 37 and a quarter or 14 threes in a game. I plan on doing that again, but who knows when? It's tough to say. Do you feel like this team has the ingredients to win a title this year? Oh, yeah. 15-2. and two. That's a great indicator of – and our defense, I think, is top three in the league as well as their offense. And I'm not even out there yet. Think about that. Really think about that. I'm more motivated than ever as well. And um, I want a championship so bad, more than anything. Wow. I love the soundbite. I'm not even out there yet as we welcome in Mark Medina, writer for NBA.com, covers our West Coast teams. We appreciate you joining us, Mark. Let's start off with the Warriors. I mean, how could I not ask you about Klay Thompson after hearing that soundbite? He seems hungry, which scares me for the rest of the NBA. What do you think about his return? Yeah, it's going to be really interesting. He has a lot of sources of motivation. One, be, uh, the fact that he hasn't played basketball for two and a half years because of two season-ending injuries. So he wants to prove that he can get back to the Clay Thompson, Thompson of pre-injury. And then second, he's uh, legitimately upset about not being on the uh, list for top 75 players of all time. And when you talk to people around the Warriors, as well as outside medical experts, here's how they break down what they think Clay Thompson will look like uh, upon his return, that his shooting is still going to be what it was uh, pre-injury. His defense will be a, a little bit of a work in progress as he gets his conditioning and timing back up to speed. But after that initial stage, they're pretty optimistic that Clay will be the player that he once was overall.